Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to do a kind of an unboxing, um, but not really because I already took it out of the box, uh, but I have not opened the package yet. Uh, I, I ordered some comics from Midtown, as you can see, and um, it was funny, I, I got home and the box was there, and I was like, yes, awesome, and um, <laughs> and then I, then later on, I went, I went online and saw that the uh, X-Men 14 had a video, she just got some comics from Midtown, and um, her reaction to it was way better than mine, and I wish I could have filmed mine, but it wasn't, it was it would not live up to uh, her reaction, it was, it was awesome. Um, but the funny thing was, I actually went to the store uh, today, and um, picked up uh, two comics of what I'm currently reading right now, uh, and they are Wolverine and the X-Men, issue four, and um, I don't really know how to, um, what to say about this comic yet, I, I like it, I like the story sort of, uh, it it's going to take... Uh, a few more issues, I think, to, to really uh, grasp me, because uh, right now it's 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 kind of got me going, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a few more issues. Um, I, I'm gonna do a, re a review on it uh, after I read it sometime this week or next week, and um, yeah, and so look out for that. And I also picked up uh, <coughs> my my favorite right now. Uh, Batwoman issue five, and the cover is just awesome. I don't even care if this is like not a variant. Well, it's not a variant, but I feel like it, sh it should be. It's just it's crazy to see everything that's going on in this cover. The faces in the water, her face that faces in the in the kind of ghostly. <laughs> and you can see like almost like a man bat is there. It's uh, it's really cool. Uh, I love this book. It's my favorite book right now, and um, I can't wait to read this story. I'm also going to review this as well, so be on the lookout for that. So anyway, to this. Let's see. Yes. going to open the sides here. Alright. This is my information, I think. Yep. Let me give me a little pamphlet. Ooh, 40% off action figures coming January 4th to the 17th, so that's pretty cool. Awesome. Anyway, to the comics. I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna see what it, they are. I'm not even in order. I'm just gonna grab it from whatever they packed it as. Let's see. Awesome. So yeah, this is the uh, Astonishing X-Men. I think this is issue 2. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, this is issue 2. And um, I just started collecting these. And I couldn't find any more, so I saw this for cheap. And I got a good copy for, of it. I think it was only, only a dollar or something. It was... Most of these were pretty cheap on Midtown, so I picked them up. And then here you go, here's issue 3, Age of Apocalypse. The Rogue on the cover. And I'm pretty happy now that I have this, because I think I've got a few more to go on that run. Oh, this next one. <laughs> Been 
looking for this ever since uh since the new Batman's coming out. Um, I never actually re read this story. And I know everybody's probably like, oh. but yeah, I never read the story. <laughs> I just knew it happened. But I never got to read the story, so now that I have it, I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, this is the story where, obviously, Bane breaks his Batman's back. And um, I think it's going to happen, something like that, in the, in the movie. But, I don't know. Too early to, to make uh, those assumptions here. Um, okay, here's Batman Hollywood Night. And I just co completed... Uh, this little three-part series. Uh, this is number three of three. And I really liked it. It was, uh... It's... Uh, I haven't read this one, obviously. I just opened it, but... The story is that, um... These two are not the real Batman and Robin. These are kind of like Adam West and, um... The guy who played Robin. <laughs> and, um... They get caught up with like the mafia and stuff. It's it's actually a pretty cool little side story. Um, he ca they actually think he's the real Batman, and um, actually no no that's not what happens. Uh, they want to run. Ah, oh, you know what I forget. I haven't read it in such a long time, but I know it's something to do with uh, the mafia wanted to taking take over the the production company, and. Um, it was pretty good. I, I haven't read it in a while, but when I saw it on there for, you know, <clears throat> the price, I couldn't find it, uh, the third copy, so I finally found it, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I also got, let's see, what's this? Number 10 of Classic X-Men. Yet again, I am cl I'm collecting, um, I can't even see this, but I am collecting the uh, X-Men classic and classic X-Men, so this is issue 10. <laughs> and I, I don't really have an order towards the, the lower numbers, so I kind of just picked this based on the cover. I really liked, um, you know, the storm. <clears throat> and there's Wolverine down here. It looks like Colossus. Nightcrawler one's like dead almost. It's pretty cool. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, I'm kind of sick. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get over that. So, let's see, what else do we have here? Classic X-Men, issue 18, with Magneto, and everybody in the palm of his hands. Awesome cover yet again. I just picked it based on the cover. Thought it was cool. Let's see. Ah, this one I know is in order. <laughs> um, the, this is classic X-Men, the Dark Phoenix saga, or saga. And it's issue 40. And I think I have the whole the whole saga part. Uh, I think it might be issue, missing issue 45. I think. I don't know. But anyway... This is issue 601 of Detective Comics. Yet again, it's hard for me to find some Batman. So let me, let me fix this a little bit. Um, yeah, it's hard for, for me to find any Batman, so... Uh, whenever I can pick them up, I, I do. So I, I saw a couple on there, and I had to pick them up. Here's issue 602. And what's this one? Ah, another. This is X Men Classic. Issue 65. Issue 65. <coughs> and, um, another one I got cut of the cover. I saw the uh, Nazi symbol and I was like, wow, this is crazy. I, I, I can't. I wonder what the story is about. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. 
And this is the anniversary issue of X-Men. And I forget what cover, what number it is. I'm, I'm, I think it's like 50-something. Um, I'm looking at the uh, thing. 45. And uh, I got it because of the cover. And because I am collecting the X-Men. But, you know, Gambit and Rogue, my favorite... Uh, I guess couple in my favorite X Men, so and superhero character, so had to get it. It's awesome. Uh, let's see what this. Oh, for a second there, I thought they were missing one. I got Batman. I wanted to start reading it, start reviewing it. And, um, this is issue one. So, I got issue one, two, three, and four. I'm not sure if number five came out. I asked uh, today when I went to go get the, the Batwoman, X Men. He said, not yet. Um,. But I don't know, if anyone knows, let me know. I didn't really check. But I got those and they look they look awesome and I love Batman, so perfect. Okay. Um I picked this up because um I saw Poet Skinny. Uh Tim. He he picked one up. And I thought I'd give it a read. Um it's another it's another sort of Batman run, but you know, it's it's uh, little side issues. Uh, this is Penguin, Pain and Prejudice. Uh, this is number uh, one of five, and uh, I'm just gonna give it a read and see how it is. Maybe I'll pick up the next issues. Uh, I know they're on issue four already, so I'm kind of behind. But you know, it's only five, so it's not too bad. And my last one which I will be doing a review as well, is X-Men Alpha and Omega. This is issue one of five. And um, it looks cool. I like the cover. Uh, can't, read it, can't wait to uh, read it. And, um, and it just looks like it's going to be a little cool series. I know Marvel's doing all these little series that go off of each other trying to make the most money out of everything but um, you know I don't mind this one I'll, I'll check it out for sure and um, that's it that's that's all I got um, uh, thanks for watching I'm gonna do a trade video soon so everyone keep your eyes out for that one and um, yeah that's it thanks for watching